Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Mark, I'm the Specialist Blanker and welcome to Blue Bell Lakes. So, today you join me on the birthday social for myself. So, obviously, there's a cheeky special milk involved. For those of you that are new here and don't know me and what my special milk is, you might want to watch some of the older videos. But thank you for tuning in. And please feel free to hit that subscribe button, like the video, leave a comment if you feel like you want to do that. Um, because I really appreciate any feedback that uh, we get on any of these videos. So, um, yeah, please feel free. To go ahead and uh, drop a comment but where are we then so as i said earlier on we're at bluebell lakes and we are on mallard lake again uh, so there's a few of us here for the birthday social uh, so big shout out to rick steve and um rob obviously for making the effort to to come down and uh, celebrate so hopefully we can get a birthday car uh, we tried to have a look on Kingfisher, Swan, very busy again. Just after the bank holiday weekend, I thought things would have quietened down, but absolutely not. You know this complex, if you've never been here before, it's um, always a little bit tricky to get a peg, but well worth it when you do get one. So we had a good hour, hour and a half uh, walking around, uh, me and Rob, because a couple of the other lads got here yesterday. Um, so we had a good walk around all the lakes. There was a couple of opportunities on Kingfisher and Swan, but I don't know. I, I'd have been jumping in those pegs for the sake of it, so we didn't. We made the right decision to come back to my lord, and, and luckily, all four of us are together in a row, so we can celebrate a bit of a social. It is 10 to 4 now, uh, so we finally got a peg and got fishing about 1 o'clock, so the rods have only been out a couple of hours. Uh, I've gone for three solid bags to start with. Um, and yeah, not for any bait out. Um, Steve, who he, who got here yesterday with uh, Rick, he's had a couple already off solid bags. Uh, nothing um, crazy and big sizes, you know, some nice double figure uh, cart, but well done, Steve. Uh, showing us up again, mate, showing us your skills. And Steve's one from my last uh, Me and More video who did the same thing uh, there. So he knows what he's doing, does big Steve. So anyway, uh, it is the afternoon now. Um, I've just cracked open a special milk. Uh, I'm gonna sit back and leave them rods now till seven, eight o'clock before it goes dark and I'll put some fresh um, bags out. I will probably top up with a few spoms um, as well, just to get a little bit of bait in the area. I found some good spots on it. Uh, left rod's at 17 wraps, middle rod's at 17, right rod is at 15 wraps. So not fishing mega distance been a few fish off the complex the weather just what i've only just recorded uh, the rain has just been hammering for the past hour or so and it's just stopped so i can so you can hear me uh, so uh yeah but other than that the temperature is fine overcast cloudy couldn't really ask for better conditions so fingers crossed we uh, we managed to get a couple of more fish on the bank for you guys to see i'll put a couple of pictures of the ones that steve has had so far because he's uh He's bagged a couple already, the lad has. But yeah, other than that, I'm gonna tuck in to a little bit of birthday cake. A bit of special milk. Not a good combo. I'll catch up with you before dark, give you some updates. Excuse me. And uh, yeah, hopefully some of carpet happens. So we can get a nice big fat birthday cart for me or I don't care if anybody else catches, I'm not bothered. As long as you see a fish, I don't care. Catch up with you in a bit.
So, swans have just come smashing through my peg. And they uh, jumped on my rod. Knocked the fucking thing off me uh, buzzer. Good morning. Not a bad uh, sight to wake up to. It would be better if there was something in the net. Anyway, let's sort this out. Morning Blankers, morning update for you all. Coming up to nine o'clock now. Already had fun and games this morning, as you will have seen from the previous footage. Swans wiping out the rods. Anyway, no fishy activity for uh, all four of us uh, through the night. I had a line bite this morning about six o'clock, a couple of beeps, but then nothing. So, um, the rods have still been left out since half three, four o'clock yesterday afternoon. So, I'll give them till 11 o'clock, I think, and then um, I had a chat with the bailiff. Um, he's saying the fish are down the, the other open end part of the, uh, the lake at the minute, but they, they do move around. Um, so, I'm not going to introduce any more bait because I haven't had any more bites, any more consistent knock so I don't want to put bait over something that there's bait already out there so also one thing I'm going to change is I'm going to switch to pop-ups in my solid bags rather than wafters off the advice of um, Trev so at the minute I just fish wafters in those um, and the two fish that Steve had came from solid bags with wide pop-ups in so uh, so that looks like a uh, something that should be worthwhile doing so I'll stick to two on the solid bags and one on a uh, stiff hinge or a Ronnie, I think. But I'll leave that till 11 o'clock. So I'm just gonna enjoy the sunshine. It's a beautiful day. Enjoy my brew. One thing I'm wounded about, tried two shops on before I came down. No oat cakes. Sold out on both shops, so co-op. Aldi, sort yourselves out. Stokies need their oat cakes. For you Stoke on Trent people that follow me or watching the video, you know what I mean. You need a cheesy oat cake on the bank in the morning. And if you ask for someone for an oat cake down here, they look at you like you've got three heads. Because they don't know the score, do they? Anyway, I'll leave it there for the morning update. I'll come back to you at lunchtime. Hopefully with a bit more positive news, but again, we've not even done 24 hours yet, me and Rob, so we've got till Saturday, 12, 1 o'clock, so still plenty of time for things to change. Staying optimistic. See what happens. I know, yeah. Keep your rod really high now. It's with that fucking size. Very silvery, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Yeah, that's just yeah. the sun on it.
Oh, well, Birthday well, cop. <laughs> Fucking swan, I'll have it on these two barbecues. Oh, they back. Stop oh, drinking man. wine, you will. It's fucking killing you off. See, it's gone down wrong hole. Can I stop drinking? Can I stop drinking vodka? Special milk, <coughs> Steve. Get on the special milk, lad. Yeah. Works wonders. We'll go <laughs> sleep and not wake up. Fucking hell. I've not had it yet. Huh? I gave it to you. Daddy told me. I fucking bring him fishy. <laughs> I put up with his moaning all the way fucking down here. He doesn't uh. give me a bit of his fucking birthday cake. Well, I hope you two viewers enjoy the F word. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah. still running to your rod. Yeah, yeah, still going. Still, yeah. you strike your rod, forget switch your ear you know, at me. Yeah. <laughs> He's dead. <laughs> you hear what happened at Libya? No, yeah. oh, mate, funniest thing I've ever seen. I'm gutted it once on camera because it was hilarious. I'm fucking gutted, I fucking just picked it up. <sighs> you know what? I've not done it since. Yeah, not, I bet you won't. We don't know. I've not done it since. Because it was. <laughs> well, caught, yeah, fuck off. You know that about for six months. <laughs> <laughs> Bastards. Yeah, I'm gonna get the fucking jumping now. <laughs> fucking shower shit. No, but you were used to. Was it you were used to bait? Just take your time, mate. Don't rush it. Do you want us to bring? Do you want us to bring any of these rods in, or are you okay? Oh yeah, got the rods in. Are they all right or not? Got them. It's gone to the left. Just take your time, Rick. I didn't even hear it. I did, yeah. Top one, don't Okay now. Just talking naughty. Misses. Rods in. Just keep it to the left, Rick. As you move to the left of your bucket with your rod. Rob! 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 Rick's in! Solid bag, yeah. Yeah. I've just put another on Z. Just took one off and put it over to <laughs> That's how it goes, isn't it? Is it your left hand rug on that spot? Yeah. That five foot spot. <laughs> that five, fifteen and a half foot spot. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we've had three fish, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Rob. Yeah. 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 You don't. Said six times, Rob. Solid bag. It's not that. That one of the in, is it? Yeah. No, I've only had one. On, oh, like, that's what you do with on digging. Um, I'm, I think I'm caught on some line. Come on now, this this oh, fish is ready. Right, this fish is ready. You going out a bit, Rob? No, go on, bring it. In. Can't bring it in. I can't fucking go that far. Just keep your eye on it, Rick. It'll once it's ready, it'll float up. That's it. Thank you. 
Yes. Oh, this is with the net, remember? Yeah. Try it, try it eight and a half with the net. With the net. Colouring of it, yeah. yeah there, get one finger around, that's it. That's, that's it. it. Keep your hand there. All right, now we'll lift it up. That's it. Use your arms as a thing. That's it. Are you happy, mate? Wow. <laughs> Stunning fish that, mate. Yeah, I'm, I'm a holding it right. Yeah, yeah. no, you're doing yeah. a good job. Keep doing yeah. what you're doing, mate. Exactly. Keep doing what you're doing. When you put it down, just watch it spins off. Yeah. yeah. You got that, Mark? Yeah. Right. Yeah. The colours on that are beautiful, yeah. aren't they? Yeah. Slowly swung. Are you up his ear again? I've smelled before, and at least once a day. Lovely fish, mate. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. Are you filming? Yeah. yeah. No, don't throw it yet. We don't know whether it's a PB yet. <laughs> Oh, oh, no, there's a bit of up and it was what's it. Anyway, thank you. Oh, what a fish. Look at the back on that. I thought it was the 30 minutes. Welcome Black Blankers for an afternoon update. And uh, as you can see from the footage before this, we've had a fish between us. Um, and it's also Rick's PB by two ounces. So we let him off with the soaking, but absolutely stunning fish, uh, Rick. Well done, mate. I know you were buzzing with that. I know you're um, sort of new to the game, but um, and you've been stressing about it. But lovely fish, mate. Uh, really well in. Solid bag. Done the trick. Uh, when we've all just switched on to zigs. Um, so congratulations, mate. And boosted morale in the camp. Um, so I'll put up another pick or two now of the fish uh, because it was absolutely stunning. And we thought it was going to be a late, uh, late twenty, early thirties. To be honest, by the frame on it, but. It come in at 25 uh, 8 so i mean not to be sniffed at by any means it was absolutely banger so uh, there we are the swans are doing the rounds honest to god caused havoc absolute havoc these swans have the rod tips are down now um, anyway that's the afternoon update so it's half two Gonna, I'm still out on all three zigs, uh, uh, 15, 17 wraps and I think 14 wraps and one's on a 10 foot, 13 foot and a 14 foot, all on black foam um, with some of the uh, bait hacks, bait hacks bait spray. Um, Try and film me, you little bastards. Excuse the French. Um, so yeah, there we go. Afternoon update done. I will uh, catch up with you this evening. I don't know if we're having a takeaway or a barbecue tonight. Not quite sure. But hopefully we get another fish between us, uh, between now and then, to show you lot at home or if you're in the bevy watching. So I'll speak to you in a few hours, hopefully with another fish. How do campers? So, evening update, seven o'clock. Thought I'd just show you the method. So we're all back on solid bags tonight. There's mine, ready to go, small bag. So what I'm gonna do, just gonna pierce it at the back, scissors. And I'm trying Corda's spicy squid goo on this trip. So it goes and lovely red colour. I don't think you need a lot, but you can see how it's changed. So I'm going to fire that out. So let it sit there for a second. Let it soak it all up. Show you the rig that's within there. It's nothing special. So it's obviously the Gemini stems, two ounce lead, 
five, four five inch worth of hobo armor cord. Pineapple pop up with just a little shot. Never used um, pop ups and solid bags before, but the three fish that have come off uh, with the guys that we're here today have all been on pop ups in solid bags. So let me know your thoughts. It'd be interesting to hear if you do actually use pop ups in your solid bags or if you tend to stick to wafters like I used to. Um, but on this occasion, the fish are coming out on yellow pop ups um, just above, obviously, they'll sit just just above the uh, the pallets and the mix uh, like that. So it's gonna be the first thing that the fish see, so that's why it's working. So there we are, so that's the plan. Let's get this rod out. Steve the solid bag maestro. <laughs> Okay, netted. Oh, just take them all the way to the. Yeah, just take them all the way to the. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. Oh, what is it? It's not even a carp. It's a tench. Yeah. <laughs> it's a tench. Oh. I'll oh, just bring it through me, Ross. Don't worry. Put your net. Uh, yeah. Fucking Judy. <laughs> <laughs> the good old Judy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what a way to finish a fucking... Yeah. Oh, fucking tench. Fucking a kick in the fucking canoe, Oh, please. yeah. Oh. Oh, what I was after. <laughs> nice tench, that is. Oh, say. <laughs> hey, oh, oh, fucking reels, fuck. <laughs> no, that's what mine did. <laughs> <laughs> There you go, I'll park it for fishing potential. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, bring it on. <laughs> I'm trying, I've got no reel. <laughs> nice tench, Steve. Well, nice. this has been my target species for the Bluebell Lake. I was plagued by a couple of small carp early on, but finally got my reward just as I was packing up. <laughs> <laughs> well in, mate, well in. Cheers, Lovely mate. tench, to be fair. Thank Lovely you, tench. Good morning Blankers, very quiet night again for all of us on the bank, I haven't heard nothing on the uh, the lake to be fair unless it's right down the bottom end and it's, uh, yeah, it's, it, it got that feeling, it's not feeling good, you, you know when you're out on the bank yourself and you just feel like it's not going to happen, um, that's just me and my defeatist feeling at the minute but Things can change very quickly. Um, just not seen any fish for the last 24 hours. Nothing in front of all four of our pegs. Um, just see, feel like we need some sort of change. Uh, should I move? 
probably, but two of the lads are going this morning. So it'll just be me and Rob uh, for another 24 hours, so it's, it's one of those. But I've not seen anything anything showing at all that makes me want to move anyway. Uh, Mallard, not Mallard, San Martin, the back, um, some fish have been coming off there. That's It's, it's as though someone's flipped a switch. Um, I've seen probably four or five fish come off there and I saw uh, as I was going to for the morning poo. Um, someone with a 36 pound uh, dark black common. It was absolutely stunning. Again on zigs. Um, so that's doing very well. This not so, but it is what it is. So I'll leave it there for an afternoon update. I'll come back in a couple of hours and uh, give you uh, a little bit of a check-in. About two, three o'clock. Are you off, pal? Yep. Right, see you in a bit. Cheers for yesterday, mate. Morning, folks. It's going to do the obligatory facility drop-off. This is the main car park if you've not been here before. Reception, our showers and toilets are. That's San Martin and we're behind the vans. Speak to you all in a bit. Alright, third rod for the last night, solid bag, yellow pop up. Let's get it out there. Right then, well, coming to the end of the session. And talk about being frustrated. I generally don't think we could have done anything differently. We've tried everything from zigs, low zigs, 15 foot zigs, and everything in between. For a good period of time, we've tried solid bags which uh, the, the couple of fish that we've had between the four of us have been caught on uh, we've tried singles different areas close in far out i generally just think the fish haven't been um on this down this end of the lake again this time i've not seen a fish for <clears throat> a fish show for at least 36 hours maybe more now um, no fish have come off this bank that I'm on in the last two days. Um, so it's as though someone has just flicked a switch. Um, sorry, no lakes in order today. Mabard Lake is switched off. Not entirely sure right down the bottom end. Not sure what's been going on down there, but I haven't seen anything on the Facebook page or Instagram either the last couple of days off at Mallard Lake. There's been some, excuse me, beauties off San Martin Lake behind me absolute dark bangers that have been caught on 18 to 20 foot zigs so well done to the lads that uh, had had those who were really nice fish they were over the moon with them and rightly so look at that toothpaste down the old top <clears throat> so anyway thank you for tuning in the next session i think i will be filming is two weeks time a little place called Gigantica in France so some of you may have heard that so really looking forward to that one also nervous anxious excited but that's what it's all about isn't it so um, unless anything happens in the next hour or so um, I will see you on the next one thank you for tuning in appreciate the comments the likes the subscribers the new and old thank you as always for your feedback and support uh, until next time, tight lines, and um, I hope that that rod that you're looking at now outside your bivvy screams off for you. See you all soon.